Hey ladies, it's Erica with Tiny Acorn. I'm so excited about today's In Her Closet because I have the most amazing guest with me today, my friend Megan of Mama Hayes. Not only is she an incredibly stylish woman, but she is inspiring women around the world with her incredible music. She's all about empowering women, about being warm and inviting to everyone, and she just really encapsulates the beauty of the feminine heart. And so I cannot wait for you guys to meet her. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and ring that bell down below to subscribe. And don't forget to check out all of Mama Hayes' links down in the description box. Can't wait for you to meet her. here with Megan of Mama Hayes. I'm so happy to be here. So for our video today, I'm gonna to chat with you about style, yes. and then we're gonna head out to one of your favorite stores to shop at. Yes. See if we can find some treasures, and then we're gonna come back to Megan's house. She's gonna style the looks up for you and also share some of her favorite pieces in her wardrobe. Yes, I am. So Megan, let's rewind. We met at a wedding and the first thing I said to you was, oh my gosh, I love your dress. That is the first thing you said to me, and then we sat at the same table. When you told me that you were a singer-songwriter, yes. and I heard your song, Heart of a Lion, yeah, that song was just so powerful to me. It just resonated with what I want the heartbeat of yes. my channel to be, which is just helping women to wake up and realize that yeah. you truly are beautiful just the way you are. Yes. And that's really what this song is all about, right? Yes. It's a powerful statement of looking at yourself in the mirror and being able to say, I am the way I am and it's perfect and I'm designed the way I am for a reason and my heart is the most magnificent part of me mm. and everything that follows is just also really, really powerful. And oh, so, so good. yeah, that's yeah. why I love that song. And I think the version you saw was my collaboration with my good friend, Arielle Astoria, yeah. who's an amazing poet and mm -hmm. female advocate as well. I'm going to link this video in the description box. Yeah, let's go ahead and chat about style. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. I'm excited. So first of all, tell me what you're wearing right now because I love this blouse. Oh, Gucci Prada? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's from Nordstrom Rack. I'm all about like finding a bargain and finding comfortable stuff that'll last a long yeah. time. Anytime I can get a hold of something that's been discounted just because it's like one season off, mm -hmm. I'm still going to wear it for lots of seasons, so why yeah. not? So, and then I'm just a fan. Also, it's fall. It's fall weather, so yeah. I like to throw on like a little black cardigan, and I have some so blue cute. skinny jeans. Yeah. I have one item from a thrift shop on right now. It's my vintage boots from Sonoma, and they're like my favorite pair of boots. The ring is from... The Black Joy Fest, and this one is from a little vintage uh, flea market tent in Brooklyn, New York. Okay, so can you take us like through your style evolution in yeah. a nutshell? I'm from the Bay Area, and it's like always sweater weather, no matter what time yeah. of year. So you grow up like having hoodies and crew neck sweatshirts, like just a part of your style. Mm -hmm. And then also I grew up in an urban area. So like, it's also a statement, like what kind of hoodie you have? Mm. Is it champion? Is it Nike? Yeah. Um, the hoodie. And then as you get older and you're like, oh, I want to be more feminine. I remember in high school, like with a skinny jean, which was around mm -hmm. in the early 2000s, yeah. like skinny jean or yoga pant or sweatpant in high school. And then also there's been like an evolution of size inclusivity in the mm -hmm. fashion industry over the last decade. I've felt more confident in my style because the way fashion has evolved and the inclusivity of size mm -hmm. has evolved. Also, I have a really close friend who has acted as an amazing stylist That's for me. Awesome. Her name's Allison Knox. She's an amazing stylist out of Portland, Oregon. She mm -hmm. gave me some style rules that I developed based on parts of my body I wanted to celebrate. That's so so cool. she's never been like, Meg, you can't wear this because it looks like this. She's always been like, what parts of your body do you want to celebrate? Mm -hmm. And so as I've grown into my skin and felt more confident in my body and myself, I've decided like what clothes usually celebrate parts of my body. Usually, yeah. you know, for a bustier woman, instead of hiding your body, just celebrate it. Yeah. You know, I'm busty. So I'm going to wear a cute low cut shirt and just celebrate that part of my body. Yeah. I have long legs. I'm going to wear skinny jeans and celebrate that. So I've no, just so evolved cool. and become more comfortable in my own skin and Allison's helped and 
I also have an amazing integrative coach, Sarah Shreves, and she's f photographed me for the last five years. Mm -hmm. And seeing her photographs of me has really affected how I see myself. Like, I feel like that's the power of women celebrating women, mm -hmm. right? Like, through the eyes of somebody else, sometimes you get to, like, see this other part of yourself that's, like, so powerful, so beautiful. And that's so there's so been true. women in my life, like Allison and Sarah, who have celebrated my body and me, and through them... I have like learned about parts of myself that I didn't even know I could celebrate. So I love that. Okay. All right. So what three words would you use to describe your wardrobe? All good things come in threes. Love it. Three words. Comfortable. They say no pain, no gain, but I feel like that's only when it comes to like waxing or something because I feel like if I'm going to be wearing something all day, I need to feel like a star. Yeah. Comfortability. And then the second word would be uh, trendy. Um, I would say I'm not like, you know, I'm not Gaga out here, but I say there's certain things that I appreciate going with the yeah. trends, paying attention to like relevant style things yeah. that make me excited and inspired. And then the third thing is like urban chic. Like I am from the Bay Area. And so I feel like I always will have that like high school girl in a hoodie in me. So, yeah. but now I know how to elevate it up with like a really cool Nike zip up or mm -hmm. like a great yoga pant that's like also cool and sexy, like a solid hoop. Part of my chic urban style, you know, nice. stuff like that. So yeah, that's those are probably the three words to describe my stuff. So Megan, does music influence your style? And if so, how? I would say 100%. Before I was doing music full time, I was a nanny. And so I would like do music gigs by night and on the weekends. And then by day, I was like in hoodies, in jeans, mm -hmm. in sweats all the time. So it was all these two extremes. So music was like my way to dress up, like put a heel on, put up my idea of like femininity, what made my body feel more powerful and, yeah. and womanly. So those opportunities to perform, those were the only times that I like really dressed up. Yeah. And then I guess I just liked it so much that over the years, I've just been like, hey, it's just a day of running errands or having lunch with a girlfriend or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm going to add a little oomph, add a little boop, add a little earring. So, yeah, yeah it's totally it. influenced me. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so top three places to shop mm -hmm. at. Yes. Okay, well... Besides my actual closet, which I try to shop at as much as possible, um, get things tailored and reuse them. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I would say Nordstrom Rack. I'm all about the bargain. Mm -hmm. I love that. Their pieces are usually super cool, super relevant, and affordable. Yeah. And then I would say Universal Standard. It's one of my favorite mm -hmm. brands. Their pieces are a bit on the pricier side. They're very basic pieces. You curate your wardrobe around these very simple, high-quality, really well-made pieces. Yeah. So, and they're also very size-inclusive. They're like That's size awesome. zero zero to 40 like so they're cool. amazing they're an amazing yeah. company and then my third one it's hit or miss asos yeah. i have gotten some great things from them yeah. as well and, nice. that, and some of the things i've gotten from them i've gotten tailored because yeah. i'm not afraid to like be like all right this works for me in some parts of my body but not others so i got yeah. this great fall jacket but i had to get it brought in so i feel like expanding you know your awareness to the options of getting things tailored totally you're gonna have so much more available to mm -hmm. you that could work for you yeah. that you might be like putting back because you think totally. right off the bat like oh this, this isn't gonna yeah. work yeah. but it actually could work okay. also getting stuff tailored is a good way to support local business because a lot of tailors yeah. are just local business true, owners yeah. that have been there for years so cool okay so she's gonna take me to her favorite Nordstrom Rack here in the Bay Area is there anything in particular that you are shopping mm. for today yes I'm looking for like a cool little blouse to wear with a fun skirt okay. and then like under a cool velvety blazer. So I'm also looking for like a loungewear piece, mm -hmm. uh, like something cozy. A lot of times before shows, I want to feel like I'm put together, but not necessarily like in the exact outfit yeah. because I don't know, just life, spill, sweat, whatever. You don't so, want to mess anything yeah. up I don't right want to mess you go anything on stage. Up. No, 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 yeah. no. And maybe a boot, a high heel, mm -hmm. or a cool mule, whatever. Maybe Ooh. we could find one of those things. We're going to go head out to Nordstrom Rack right now. We're going to come right back here. Megan is going to show us all of her favorite pieces in her closet. And then you're going to style up some of the looks. All right, so stay tuned. You got the Okay, I think sometimes, even though this is super simple, I have like a gorgeous velvet blazer at home and I feel like you can, I could add some contrast with the totally. look. Totally, yes. It's also a low V, which is great, caters to my body shape. I also always lose hanger, like I can't deal with hangers. Just <laughs> I just thank you for your service. <laughs> Bye. Midwell shirt. This is a bargain and a steal. How much is it? 
like 39. Not for bad. Madewell, that's, that's pretty so good. good. This is the thing, I spend a little bit more money on pieces now because I keep them longer. If it's simple and if it's like made well. <laughs> Here's an example of an item that I love. I think it's beautiful and well-made, but I have been told by my friend who's a stylist that the peasant look doesn't celebrate my body features that need to be celebrated. So, Perch, you're gorgeous, but we're gonna have to say no. She needs fall layers, so yes. that might work. And then you found a black sweater? I found a black sweater because it's like a great I love loungewear it. piece, but it's nice. I love it. I'm and obsessed with sweaters. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so I think this is fun. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. This Ooh. one has pockets that I like better. I might go for this one instead. Nice. Yes. <gasps> That's perfect. It's a little bit out of the budget though. It's a lot out of the budget. Okay, but here's the thing. You should be only buying boots like every 10 years. That's what I'm saying. Investing in boots. Investing it's a staple for a wardrobe. I don't have a heeled black boot and I need a heeled black boot. So here's what I'd have to do. I think I'd have to sacrifice a coat <gasps> for the boot. No. Because <laughs> no. they go well together. No, that's the no. problem. What can I sacrifice? Oh, I might have to sacrifice the sweater. <laughs> Because they all go well together, the boot, the sweater, and the coat. I know. Okay, but you didn't try the sweater on. You need to try it on first. Oh, you're right. To decide. Before I make a decision. Yeah. Oh, I don't ever want to take this off. Oh, that's cute. This is so cute. <gasps> like a little tuck. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I'm going to try the boot on to see if it all goes together. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute. I will say... It's a little tight. I feel like my toes are a little scrunched. We found another boot. Let's look. Mules. I feel like they're great because you can dress them up or dress, them, dress down. them down. They're pretty versatile. And they're really comfortable. They're not too tight. Oh, that's great. Do you have any favorite brands that you like to buy here? Madewell, Vince. I mean, obviously not this, I'm going to work at my office job yeah. dress, but <laughs> Vince usually has great stuff. My favorite shoes are from Vince. Oh, this brand, it's called Leaf. That's the brand of that pink dress that I met you in, huh? Yes, it is. <laughs> Good eye. That's my favorite brand here. And I love the clearance section. Okay, so I've decided on getting, this is a clearance, really cute Lucy Goose white blouse I could wear under my really great velvet jacket for like a crisp Christmas look. And then I need a couple classic tees. I tried to wear a tee the other day. I got to my car, realized there was stain, stain on it, so I had to go back inside. So this is these classic black tees. Everything's under 20 bucks. Easy. I'm really excited about this Madewell piece. I feel like it's trans-seasonal. We're bringing that word into existence. I can do a tuck. I can do a blazer. I can do a jacket. I can do so even cute. this new coat that we've decided yes, yes on. That Actually, the whole cute. thing could be an outfit. Mm -hmm. With so your this, mules. Yes, with my mules. I've been looking for mules for years and I haven't found any that are cozy, that are also not too expensive. These are 40 bucks. Perfect. So, and I feel like the last forever, I take good care of my shoes. And then the last little piece, this is cozy 14th Union sweater. Just, I, I need elevated loungewear pieces so I look put together, but I'm still comfortable and I put my makeup on before a show or I'm just having tea with friends, talking about the weather and you know, the universe. Perfect. Work. These are my favorite clips and I stepped on them and broke them. So, yay. And then Christmas! <laughs> Holiday season. I will wear these Perfect. in my hair. You best yeah. believe. With my white blouse and With my velvet short hair. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So we just got back from Nordstrom Rack. We're here in Megan's closet and she's about to show me some of her favorite items from her wardrobe. Let's just start with this fabulous fur coat. <laughs> This is a funny piece that I bought kind of as a joke, but I ended up wearing it a lot for like Mama Hayes photo shoots and all kinds of stuff. Then we have this gorgeous coat from Universal Standard. It's wool, it has these great pockets. Um, I love it, it's gorgeous. And it just looks good with anything dressed up or dressed down. This is another piece from Universal Standard. This is just like kind of a maxi but it goes down to like right below the knee i wear this under a nice jacket i can wear it under a t-shirt with tennies i can wear it um, under a blazer so you can just do a lot with it 
this is my favorite cozy sweater from Nordstrom Rack. It's a little bit oversized, but not too oversized, so you could do a little tuck with it. This is my favorite jacket. This is velvet. This is the one and only thing I have from the actual Nordstrom. Uh, just because I felt like having a good piece like this will last me for years. I take really nice elevated pieces and then I boost my other pieces that were more on a budget with really nice pieces. Aha, this is my favorite kimono. It's a great performance outfit. It takes like an all black, super simple outfit and then it just makes it look elevated and exciting and festive and colorful and it's comfortable. This is funny, it's kind of like thrifting. I bought like a black maxi dress a long time ago and it didn't, wasn't flattering so I cut it into a shirt. It is like the base of like probably 75% of my outfit. This is one of my favorite jackets, I got it from ASOS. Uh, it was meant to be oversized but that only looks good on some parts of my body so I got it tailored and brought in great fall winter cool like parka super long this is my favorite jacket in the world I've had it for almost 10 years believe it or not it's from Old Navy and I got it tailored everybody asks me where I got this jacket they think it's some fancy jacket it's just a cheap jacket that I needed one day because I was cold and <laughs> I ended up tailoring it and it's my favorite favorite jacket I've been wearing it every winter for a decade. Yeah, this is my favorite sweatshirt. It says Los Angeles. It's cool, it's fun, um, and I just feel like my urban chic thing. Love having a cool, crisp crew neck. Wear it under a jacket or just by itself with jeans and boots, so love it. This dress is an off-the-shoulder dress I got from ASOS, and then I got it tailored. This is just one of my favorite pieces. It celebrates my beautiful shoulders, celebrates my legs, and I love that. Some of my favorite shoes to wear. Uh, these are my favorite boots. These are Fry. I got them from Nordstrom Rack. I think all of my shoes are from Nordstrom Rack. I've worn them in video shoots. I've worn them for gigs. I've worn them for lots of things. These are another pair. These are gorgeous black boots. Still not as high as I want them to be with the heels, so I am on the hunt for those. These are Clark's, super good for your foot. These are my favorite show heels, and they have like super soft insole. These are super quirky fun. Um, they remind me of tap shoes from when I was a kid. Um, I just love them, I think they're quirky and fun. Then when I do my like urban chic looks, I do these cool little black Nikes, and I feel super comfortable in them running errands all day. Now I'm gonna style up some looks for you guys from the stuff I got today. So much for watching before we go do you have any tips well my first tip would be celebrate your body make a list of the things you love about yourself mm. and then when you're shopping keep that in mind and yeah. only buy clothes only spend money on things that celebrate who you are mm. and don't worry about hiding things mm. the truth about hiding things is you can't hide things anyway <laughs> usually just make things look bulkier when you try to shuffle, mm. the, shove them down. So just celebrate parts of you and just love who you are and love the skin you're mm. in. And also so for good. people, another tip for me, like I'm an Enneagram three, so efficiency is really important. So I usually have like a uniform. It's usually yeah. like a skinny black, loosey goose, 
and structured or tight top. So for me, that takes the thinking out. Kind of have this little set of rules that I made for myself that celebrate the parts of myself that I want to celebrate. Then I just stick to it and it saves yeah. time and energy and money yeah. and, and, and also keeps me from buying stuff I don't need because I look at it and I'm like, like that peasant blouse we saw today at Nordstrom mm. Mac. It's like, yeah. I love that blouse. Super cute, beautiful, yeah. but it doesn't match. It doesn't follow my uniform. It doesn't follow my list. So it'd yeah. be great to have, but I'd probably wear it once or twice. That's such good advice, you guys. Definitely make a list of the things that you want to celebrate about yourself. I love the idea of having like this sort of uniform because I feel like for you, you can almost switch out like any one of those three pieces. Totally. And like everything could be like interchangeable with each other. 100%. Yeah. And you can almost have like a capsule wardrobe with just a few amount of pieces mm -hmm. and create multiple different looks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a lot of those looks where all I need to do is switch out the top and then I'm like ready for the night. That's so, so awesome. Yeah. Love it. You guys go follow Mama Hayes on Instagram. It's Hello Mama Hayes is how you find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Spotify. All the music from the Mama Hayes catalog is up yes. there. Awesome. Apple Music too. Yeah. If you still use Apple Music, power to the people. If you still have an iPod. <laughs> yeah, if you still have an iPod, just get it on there. You have a Patreon. Yes. The Patreon is up and running and we're going to be putting amazing video content and exclusive things on there mm. coming in the new year. So not represented by a record label. Mm. I'm an independent artist and it's really hard for us to make a living wage at times. But mm. what keeps me moving and excited about music and art is the amazing people I get to meet. It's worth being like, hey, support yeah. what I'm doing. Follow on Instagram, 100%. follow on Spotify link up on Patreon yeah. and subscribe to what we're doing. So yeah, it's worth the work because I feel like the music moves people and makes yeah. a difference. And I do totally want to be a part of creating this culture where everybody's empowered and represented and included mm. and celebrated. So mm. yeah, that's so what it's about for me. That's so good. I love that. Thank you. Woo. Thank you guys yes, so, thank much. You so much for watching. Yes. Please like and subscribe to this woman, to this video, <laughs> this page. Thank do you. it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, it's been an honor yes. to be with you here. Thank you so much. Remember, ladies, you're, you're beautiful, beautiful just, just the way, way you are. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for being on my show. To no, this is not a show. What is this? <laughs> it's a show. It's a okay. full show. All right, you guys. Hello. <laughs> You need to I really need outtakes, to get into it. Outtakes. You need more cider, <laughs> less cider, tequila. I'll just make sure my my hips don't lie. <laughs> just making sure. So comfortability, like a good boot, a clean sock, a good bra. <laughs> Comfortable. I have to be able to feel like I can move. Yeah. feel like I can hug a baby. <laughs> okay. I know, I know nobody's ever like, that's too much boob. No. Singing, singing, singing. Sometimes before, I'm looking for... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really trying to convince her to buy... <laughs> that's so amazing. Wait, like, I been, wait, give me a spin. Give me a spin in that. You look so cute. Yes. It's a yes from me. Dog. Yes from me, dog. Under your skin, you feel the light that's striking my